Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review for Married at First Sight Season 15, Decision Day. We have made it to Decision Day, finally. I'm sorry I missed last week, y'all. Y'all know I had an interview um, with someone from the show Family or Fiance. Check it out if you haven't. But we're here today. We're going to jump right into it. If you've been here before, help your girl out. Like I came here with my Aaron hat on and everything just to give y'all this review. Subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. So we start right off with Stasha and Nate. I feel like we already, you know, kind of, they're predictable. We pretty much knew what their answers were going to be. But let's go ahead and get into it. Stasha is nervous uh, that Nate will lash out on her and possibly walk away from like arguments and disagreements like he did last week. <clears throat> he lashed out because you kept nagging him to say, I love you. <laughs> like, let's not forget. It's not like, oh, I just feel like lashing out today. No. <laughs> like, you forgetting the reason behind it. But okay, go off. So, Nate thinks that she has things to work on as well. And she does. No one is perfect. We all have things we can work on in a relationship, in life, period. So, they both get into the niceties about each other and things they like. He said the good outweighs the bad. So, of course, he says yes. And she, of course, absolutely says yes. She already took on his last name and everything. Like, she didn't even play it off. Like... It was evident that it was like, I'm trying to have suspense, but it was not convincing, girl. Like, <laughs> even um, Pastor Cal was like, that was a long yes. Like, yes, it was. So then I'm thinking, like, they really brought Devon Franklin on for one episode. Like, y'all really put him in commercials and made it seem like he was, like, going to be more involved. And he literally was there for one episode. Like, it's so odd because I've been watching since season one so to now only see dr pepper and pastor cow sitting on the couch like wow but the show still gotta go on so alexis and justin are up next um at this moment in this very moment i was thinking okay so we need to bring a no after a yes <laughs> and then I was like, they showed their journey and the flashbacks. And I forgot that Alexis didn't have those braids on her wedding day. Like she's had her those braids all season to the point that I just, sorry, that's my microwave going off. To the point that I forgot what she looks like without them. Like if it was for the after show, I, I, I would have completely forgot. So they discussed their issues with Maya, etc. But of course we knew Justin was going to say yes. I feel like I've... I wanted him to go because I didn't want his decision to be based off her decision. But then it was like we knew he was going to say yes. Surprisingly, she says yes as well and gives a heartfelt speech. So at this time, I'm like, okay, we'll see what happens by the reunion. But honey, we're going to see what happens by the end of the episode. Moving on, Lindy and Miguel. So they're going back and forth about their disagreements. Uh, Miguel is concerned about her outburst. Lindy feels like sometimes he's unkind to her, and he is. Um, they say the things they love about each other, whatever. They both say yes. They claim, according to them, that they're in love. And then we say, let me turn this thing off. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I had made some buffalo chicken dip, and it was so good. But anyway, Kristen and Mitch. Best for last. I'm so glad they did not pull that little stunt they pulled with Ben and Morgan, like with uh, Paige and Chris from season 12, and they try to have them on decision day. Like, I am so glad they didn't do that with Morgan and Ben. Like, oh my gosh. But anywho, so we go through their journey, which is like painful to watch and hard on the eyes. And basically, I'm just like... Last week, she said she would literally accept anything he's willing to give. Like, she will accept the barest of minimums. Like, the thirst was just beyond. Like, I know she doesn't want to have a failed marriage after a failed engagement, but my goodness. Like, she was willing to take, like, literal crumbs at this point. So, I'm nervous about her decision. The experts... Excuse me. The experts tell Mitch to guess what color Kristen's wearing. He was like, white or orange or... And then here goes Dr. Pepper, so I'm like, oh, he knows his wife. And I'm like, isn't that like a red, like a pinkish red? Maybe it's like an orange red, so I guess maybe. But I'm like, that ain't, like, that wasn't orange. What she wore when they went to that little weekend trip was orange with that bra strap shown. 
So, they get into their decisions, and Mitch said she deserves someone who can offer more than what he's he can give her. Like, she deserves to be loved and all the things she's been hooting and hollering about all season in front of everybody, but saying something else behind closed doors. Basically, he's saying she deserves all that, and he just can't give it to her. He's incapable. And she's like, you know what? Like, I'm choosing myself. Like, at first, I was feeling like we could have worked this out, but I gave it my all, so I choose me. Yeah, you choose you, because he chose him. Kristen should have went first. Kristen should have gone first. He was making it seem like he wanted to say yes the whole time, but I knew he was going to say no. So Kristen should have gone first. This is why, y'all remember that show? This is from my, my, my old heads right here. Y'all remember that show from the 90s, Change of Hearts? When they flipped that thing over, that's what we need. This point forward. Granted, it's too late for next season because it's already coming back on in January. It's almost November. It's coming back in January. Sheesh. They pumping them out too fast. Like, they're not vetting these people. Like, it doesn't even make sense anymore. But we need that car where you flip it over and we look. And what did he say? A what? You said no? I said yes. That's all the clarity she need. That still wasn't a wake-up call for her. Because she's talking about, um, oh, uh, she's still holding on to hope and maybe in the future. Honey, he said no. Babe. He, come here. Kristen, come close. He said no. He said no. <laughs> so afterwards, like immediately afterwards, Alexis and Justin... Um, are having a conversation. She's talking about she still needs time. Like, yes, I said yes, but I, I'm still not all in. Like, what does that even mean? So Justin's also confused because what is what you should have just said no. So he's like, we need to at least give it a full 12 months. A 12 months of this torture, I can't take much more. Leave us out of it if you do. So they begin to argue, and it's just a hot mess. So Justin ends up asking her if she's having second thoughts on her decision. She said no, but her face said yes. So the next day, all the couples meet, like they always do, including Morgan and Ben. I was so happy to see Ben happy. Like, I was so glad to see him smiling again. We haven't seen him smiling since his wedding day. Like, his smile made my heart smile because, woo, I'm telling you, when he got free from them shackles of Morgan, oh, we. Morgan came through, walked through, thought she was doing something. She thought she was doing something with that little bralette showing. Okay, girl, she looked she looked okay. She looked decent. <laughs> and we're not gonna give it too much. She was giving it a little too. I'm just saying. So Sasha and Nate go and Lenny and Miguel go and they're happy. They say yes. Woo! The couples we expected. Kristen and Mitch. Kristen said the door is cracked. If Mitch decides and he wake up one day and says, you know what? I decide I wanna be a husband to you. I said no and embarrass you in front of everybody, but you know what? I've had time to think about it. And since I know you still going to be around, yes. It's a girl. Pick your dignity up off the floor. You don't got no ties to this man. Let him go. Him and his dirty house. So, <sighs> she really said, basically, she was like, if he want to be a whole ass husband, then he can come back. Alexis asked if he would ever come back, though, like, she knows how it feels to be on the other end waiting for somebody to you're hoping that they come back and they wake up and they get an epiphany and realize how great you are you can say i'm great i'm amazing i'm this and i'm that if they don't see you they don't value you, they just don't value you, honey you wasting your time on deaf ears save it for the person who is going to value you easier said than done because we're not in it yes i completely understand i've played a fool a time or two myself but it's painful to watch it really is and here, Alexis goes staring at the pot when she asked him that, asking if he would come through that door. He was like, as a friend, like, he wants a friendship, like, nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> and then he tells Kristen, like, honey, you deserve better. Like, enough is enough. We are sick of it. She's saying what everybody's thinking. Kristen is almost in tears, and she's like, well, that's all the clarity I need. It's over, honey. You are fibbing. If he was like, I changed my mind. <laughs> I, I want to try it again right now, today. Let's try it again now. She will welcome him with open arms. So Alexis and Justin go, mm, 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 honey, child. Justice says all these nice things about Alexis and saying he was always planning on saying yes and she looked like a goddess walking down, this and that. All the things a husband should be saying. And so they both said yes. But she like, hold on, wait, not too fast. 
I said yes in that moment, but afterwards, five minutes later, we started arguing. So she tells the group about the argument, and basically she says she changed her mind, like, no. How does that work? Because, okay, so when they say no on decision day, we know maths pays for the divorce. Sometimes it takes a long time, and I have no idea why. Like, it really don't even got to take that long in real life. It really don't. They don't have no assets or nothing. Like, why does it take so long? But anyway, <laughs> so you if you say yes on decision day, and the next day you say no, is maths off the hook? Because I feel like it's still, it's like only a day later. It's only 24 hours later. So it's like, is it immediately like, okay, well, you said yes, so now you got to figure it out? Or is it like, okay, well, we're going to be gracious because it's only been 24 hours. We'll go ahead and give y'all the divorce. I don't know. If y'all know, let me know. Because all I'm thinking is, why didn't she just say no yesterday? Oh, Lord. She could have just said this yesterday. It was all over her face. So I know, uh, Lindy and Miguel was up here giving advice and stuff when he was talking. I'm like, what y'all think? Y'all the relationship gurus? Y'all think y'all the experts? I know we ain't really had no experts, but y'all ain't it. So, the next day, the couples are moving out of the shared apartments, and Mitch and Kristen are getting into it, because she's feeling away, because she's like, okay, I was basically being nice by saying I was leaving the door open, but you, and he's like, I'm tired of taking the blame. Bottom line is, he said he only wants to be friends, and you are not listening to what he is saying. You gave up the goodies and everything, you saw a father for Luna, which, please explain, I get it, Mitch ain't it. I don't even think I've seen him do something she wanted to do all season. <sighs> I know she wanted this so bad. But it's like, sometimes you got to look at it, like, for what it is. Like, do you just want to be married? Do, are you in love with the idea of what you thought it could be? Or do you really love this man? Because, come on. So, um, they said they'll still stay in touch after all that said and done. And Why? Cut it loose. Clean cut. No more communication. There's nothing to talk about. On the other side, Alexis apologized to Justin for, you know, the way she handled that. But, like, bottom line, she still went to divorce, though. She tried to be nice about it, but she still went to divorce. I knew she wanted to divorce the very first day, and it was torturous to watch it all the way to the last day. But now that reunion... The reunion looked like it's going to be good. And I ain't no Kevin Frazier fan, so I could, I, we ain't need him. But I can't wait to come back next week and talk about that reunion. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.